Hello students, welcome to Infinity Learn NET YouTube channel. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about electrochemical series. This is most important topic in electrochemistry. You can expect one question from this electrochemical series from the NEET examination. We are going to discuss about a few questions based on NCRT and what is electrochemical series. When an electrode is immersed in an electrolyte, it is going to experience some potential at standard conditions. That potential is known as standard electrode potential. That standard electrode potential can be given as a standard oxidation potential or standard reduction potential. So, standard oxidation potential is meant for the loss of electron process and standard reduction potential is meant for gain of electron process. So, Every metal and every electrochemical cell will have the standard electrode potential and the single electrode potentials are given in increasing order or decreasing order that sequence of the electrode potential values is called as electrochemical series. If you look at this electrochemical series, it is increased or decreasing order it will be given for the reduction potential values are taken from the NCRT textbook. So, you have to consider SRP values. And if you see the, this is your ECS electrochemical series, lithium takes an electron gives lithium and its value is minus 3.5 and it keep on arranged in increasing order of this with reference to hydrogen. Hydrogen value is taken as merely 0, 0.00 volts. And these are the values which are negative and these are the values which are positive. So, in this order you can see from top to bottom lithium is the strongest reducing agent and fluorine is the strongest oxidizing agent. From top to down in the electrochemical series oxidation potentials and oxidation capacity of the electrodes increases from the bottom to top reducing nature increases. So, what are the key features of this electrochemical series we will see. So, the key features of the electrochemical series simply you can say the greater the value of SRP standard reduction potential greater will be the tendency to get reduced. So, that the element or the compound will be a stronger reducing agent and also smaller the value of SRP value and vice versa higher the value of SOP value you can say. So, the greater will be the tendency to get oxidized and hence the compound element will be a better reducing agent. So, how to implement this? That can be implemented by taking this example MnO4 minus gives us Mn2 plus its value is given as 1.51 volts. Cr to dichromate gives us Cr3 plus its value is given as 1.4 volts. Both are reduced. So, you will be asked, this is a key example I just want to give you, very important for NEET examination point of view, which is a better oxidizing agent. So, the one which is having mathematically smaller value, mathematically bigger value. So, mathematically bigger value, this SRP values is going to be a better oxidizing agent and also you can see a question and also what is anode and what is a cathode. The electrode with a up in the series is an anode and a cathode any electrode lower in the series in the compo comparison to the anode. I just want to say mathematically bigger SRP value act as a cathode mathematically smaller is going to act as a anode. Moving ahead metals with moving ahead metals that lies on up in the electrochemical series displaces the metals which are present below in the electrochemical series in the aqueous solutions. I just want to say when copper sulphate plus zinc metal so in the aqueous media copper is deposited and the reverse is not possible that is the reason why can you store copper sulphate in zinc as this reaction is a possible, you cannot store. Can you store zinc sulphate in a copper vessel? Yes, you can store. You can store. Why? Because there is no reaction between these two. And also, 
on moving down the series of electrochemical uh, series the positive electro positive nature of the metals increases and the reactivity also increases you can say so alkali metals and alkali earth metals can react with cold water and displaces hydrogen gas whereas metals like copper silver gold react with cold water there is no reaction even with the steam whereas uh, metals like iron nickel cobalt lead tin can react with steam but not with cold water and they can liberate hydrogen gas and this is very important moving ahead metals placed above in hydrogen can liberate hydrogen gas on reaction with uh, dilute acid solutions like uh, zinc react with hcl gives rise zinc chloride and they can liberate hydrogen gas the other metals like copper you can see magnesium can react with hcl gives rise magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas whereas copper react with hcl there is no reaction this dilute hcl i just want to say and also moving ahead thermal stability of the metal oxides there are seven points as far as this electrochemical series is concerned and this is the seventh point thermal stability of the metal oxides so depending upon the electro positive nature metal as electro positive nature of the metal increases from the top to bottom the thermal stability of the oxide also decreases from the top to bottom and you can say barium oxide sodium oxide aluminum oxide there is no decomposition on heating whereas you can say silver and mercury their oxides are unstable and when they are heated they are going to decompose so based on this electrochemical series key features we can discuss a few questions from the ncert based let us see standard electrode potentials of three metals x y z are minus 1.2 volts plus 0.5 volts and minus 3.0 volts respectively the reducing power of these metals will be that can be easily answered based on the electrochemical series as we discussed here more negative the value of standard reduction potential greater will be the stronger will be the reducing z so let us arrange the order minus 3.0 is greater than minus 1.2 is greater than plus 1.5 based on z is greater than x is greater than y so it is going to be the c is the correct answer for this question another question when a copper wire is immersed in a solution of silver nitrate the color of the solution becomes blue why because the copper has a tendency to oxidize to give rise silver metal so copper is reduced copper is oxidized to copper 2 plus and silver is reduced to silver so i just want to say copper is oxidized to copper 2 plus this is an oxidation process loss of electron is an oxidation process the answer is going to be b for this question moving ahead one more question very important and the most stable oxidized species among the following is here dichromate is converted into cr3 plus cl2 is oxidized to cl minus permanganate is converted into mn2 plus cr3 plus is reduced to cr as far as these values are concerned 1.33 plus plus 1.36 plus 1.51 minus 0.74 so the most oxidized species you can say this is one option this is another option four options so as far as this particular species is concerned from this given values you can say from this given value plus 1.33 1.36 1.51 minus 0.74 we can observe the reduction potential of copper 3 plus 2 copper is the highest negative so that the signifies the tendency to get copper 3 plus 2 be in a copper so it is the strongest uh, its oxidizer to cr3 plus is maximum and i just want to say cr3 plus is most stable oxidized species so i just want to say this is the answer for this question so like that you need to observe exact values and their order relative order of the electrode potential values which can give you the best and also similar to that 
a solution containing one mole per liter solution of copper nitrate silver nitrate mercuric nitrate and magnesium nitrate is being electrolyzed by using in a inert electrodes the values of the standard electrode potentials are given and based on that you are asked to say what is the increasing order of the sequence of deposition of metals on cathode it will be so you can guess based on that you can say in aqueous solution only those ions which are less electropositive than hydrogen would be deposited that is the first important condition and the second point is therefore is the presence of in case silver mercury copper would be deposited on passing of electricity through the aqueous solution magnesium will not be because magnesium comes below na and also higher the value of e not value easier will be the reduction and therefore the sequence in which the reduction of the metals is going to be silver is greater than here it is silver is greater than mercury is greater than copper so that our answer is going to be option c is the correct answer for this super question and also we discuss it today about what is electrochemical series and what is applications of electrochemical series and i think you like this session please like this session and share with your friends and subscribe to infinity learn neat channel thank you very much thank you